Today, we're going to put together the twinkle lights. These are solar powered outdoor lights. This group came with a set of eight. I've taken two out. Try to stay with your lighter, brighter colors like green, yellow, blue, or even light brown. Also in the box, you're going to get this rope. I don't like this rope. It's not nylon and it won't last very long. Also included in the box are going to be these gaskets. They fit on the end of your light and they plug right into the top of your wine bottles. Next, you want to remove the thin piece of saran wrap from the top of your solar portion of your light. In order to charge your lights, you're going to need to find the on switch just underneath the edge of the light. Depress the white button and slide it sideways. In order to know that your light is in the on position, place the solar portion of your light in a dark place. The light will come on. Now that all of your lights are on, place them back into the box with their solar faces up and let's take them outside and put them into the direct sunlight so they can charge. Leave your lights outside for about 24 hours, making sure that the solar portion is facing the direction of the sun. Let's get your lights installed in your bottles. Carefully undo the end of the wire from the coil. I can't hold the camera and undo this with only one hand. Let me set it down. I'll be right back. There we go. We have the wire untwisted from the coil. Starting with the large end of the gasket, feed the wire through. Take the coil of wire and squish it so it's oblong and it will fit through the gasket. Push the gasket onto the end of your solar light. Feed the end of the wire down through your bottle and occasionally gently bend the wire so that the wire doesn't just hang straight in the bottle. Insert your solar light with the gasket on it firmly into the top of your bottle. You did it. You're all done. Now let's find the best place to put them into your garden. The trick of placing your bottle is to put the bottle underneath and entwined in with your plants and yet have the solar light facing the arc of the sun. Give it a try and if you don't like it then change it tomorrow. You can hang them in a tree, put them in the garden, on a picnic table, along a pathway. You can place them up high in a flowering pot or on a beam. Anything goes. Have fun. Try keeping them away from where your outdoor spotlights are because otherwise they'll never come on because it will always be light. Have a good time with these lights.